hello guys how are you all doing if this is your first time watching my name is glory and you're welcome to this channel please do not make it your last continue the series today businessing and financing with ease the last time where we ended i was talking about small size businesses enterprises and maybe shops in the market that's the category i was talking of small shops in the market roadside businesses i was talking about the little things you can do in order to improve your business performance and retain clients first is make your business easy make your services easy set up little things like opening a bank account getting back feedbacks from customers doing follow-ups with your customers and everything like that so today i'm going to be talking about limited liability companies and i'm going to break it down um between ranges because the larger the business the more intense or the need for a proper proper um structure so for today's purpose i'm going to be talking about limited liability companies between turnover of a million to a hundred million per annum so yes as a business owner one of the major desires of every business owner is to have a business that is sustainable a business which outlives you a business which you necessarily must not be there for it to work effectively so yes how do you achieve that that is you can do that by setting up all the necessary structures for that business with that the business can run on its own i was um scrolling through instagram one time and a fan was talking to to mr hotel dollar and we're just asking sir you're always on vacation like why are you always on vacation you don't work and basically the summary of the response he gave to that fan is my business works on its own i've done my due diligence i've done my assignment i've done the work i've set up the structure so i don't need to be there in order for the business to work effectively i'm basically sleeping and my business is making money so yes that is the desire of every entrepreneur of every business owner so i'm going to the first structure to set up for a limited liability company for any other business basically is you want to get your tax right because <laughs> if you don't get it right believe me these guys in funny when they come after you so if you are that limited liability um um business and you've been in operation for years and you haven't registered with the various regulatory or tax authorities it's never too late actually to do that but it's very important especially if you're looking at your business growing you know there are some limited liability companies that are more or less run by a single person why there are some limited liability companies that have proper structure like they have an md they have an ed they have a gm and they have all of that why there are some limited liabilities that they just registered as a limited liability but it's just one person behind it doing all the work all the department he's the accountant he's the customer care he is the, the MZ of the company he's a CEO of the company so it depends um, on who the owners are and how the business is treated generally however be the case it's very important to set up your business for tax and get it right because you never might know when that big contract might come calling and those documentations that might be needed for example there are some clients depending on the type of industry that will need tcc and you can get tcc if your tax is not right there are some clients that might need you know there are various kind of documentations that might be needed by your clients depending on the nature of the business that is why registering your business for tax and getting it right it's very important so depending i'm going to be each country has their tax system for the purpose of this video and my location i'm going to be talking about nigeria because i mean that is where i am so yeah i will have a good idea about how the tax system works here and i'll also talk about lagos in particular because the tax structure is in two it's in basically three nature you have you know remittance to firs and you know the state government so yes you want to register first with firs that's a federal inland revenue service that is if you're in nigeria 
you want to register with FIRS, depending on the type of business you're operating, is your business a vatable business? Do you will you need to collect VAT, you know, for goods and services? So you need to register with FIRS for VAT and company income tax. And honestly, this is pretty easy. You there are various um, FIRS agencies in various locations around the country. So you just need to locate VAT, which is closer to you. You go there you tell them this is what i want to do you just fill some forms you provide the necessary documents example your certificate of incorporations your memat and you know you do a letter saying that you want to register for company income tax and you also want to register for vat so with that a letter will be issued to you in terms of vat i think it's a great letter um, acknowledging the fact that they've received your letter and everything so once you're able to do that that is settled in terms of the FIRS you've registered for company income tax with that you can be filing your returns and in the process of um, um, doing the company income tax registration you need to also state your accounting year end mostly most businesses always prefer 31st of December so yes Prior to that, if it's if you have a business which you've already be, been operating for a long time before you want to take the tax step, you need to do a statement of affairs. A statement of, of affairs basically um, states um, the current situation of the business in terms of the current assets of the business, the current liabilities of the business as at the time you're taking the step to register for the to register for tax purposes it can also be used for other purposes for example the case of insolvencies but for this purpose yeah you can do your statement of affairs if you've been operating your business for a while before you want to take the bull step so once you are settled with the tax aspect of the business the next is for nigeria you want to register with your state government for state tax remittances example of taxes you can remit to the state is payee so if you're that business which is a limited liability but not a one month business you have employees and everything you have directors you want to register for lirs to remit your payee to remit you know withholding tax on contract so i'm also going to put um the various taxes you can remit to the state government and the various taxes you can remit to firs and all of that above for you to see for lagos state which is lirs lagos um lagos internal revenue service it's pretty easy because they have a website and the link i'm also going to put it above and also in the description box they have a website where you can just go and you register your company for um state remittances hello guys so i'm just going to go ahead to show you how the various um state tax websites in nigeria looks like so i'm just going to select a few of those and also that of firs which is the federal inland revenue service so for lagos state is the lirs here is the website lirs.gov.ng so i think there's a public notice here it reads Lagos State Government Public Notice, definition of gross income and exemption of minimum wage. So, yes, guys, it's very, very important that you keep yourself abreast because there is constant amendment in the tax system. For example, this year there was an amendment in personal income tax and some other little adjustments done here and there. So, yes, that is it for that so i'm just going to dive straight into it so every information you need you can just go to tax information to get it and you know the website is pretty friendly and very informative so these are no things which i want to go ahead explaining it's going to take a whole lot of time and that's the reason i'm showing you the website so you can go in to go to the website you know click on it um scroll around it just um play around it to get the necessary information you need and as a company so yes in the lagos state internal revenue service there is another portal or you know a link which is closely which is called the eta territory so i'm just going to click on it for this you can use this is what i'm talking about if you're already an existing taxpayer you can just put in your tax id as you can see there's an initial here that starts with n if you're an individual taxpayer and c that is if you're a corporate tax payer i'll always advise that 
for every employee of a company enrolled in the payee system or the tax system for personal income tax is very very critical or important that you have your individual or personal tax id number sorry tax id so yes once because you don't know where it's needed sometimes you know in the future it might be needed you just need to show evidence of tax payment and with this id you can use to go to the state government and you receive your tax you know your tax certificate or your personal tax certificate so that is it if you don't have a tax um id you can easily come to create new tax id i'm just going to go ahead and click on it so and you fill in your details if it's individual if you're registered as an individual you click here you put your bvn your date of birth and you proceed to create that if you're a corporate you click on the corporate you're going to put your cac registration number and you click on proceed once you proceed it's going to lead you to another prompt that's going to require you to input more details example the details of the directors of the companies and everything like that so that is it for that i'm going to to go back hope that is um that is informative enough so yes for some organizations or for your business as you know a limited liability company you might want to get the services of a consultant so if you have a consultant this is the portal for the consultant the consultant clicks and puts his id and everything you know the interfaces are different for each of them if it's an admin someone you're appointing to manage your tax portal they also have their login you know platform where they can log in and their interface is also different so this is it for Lagos State Internal Revenue Service. Basically, this is almost the same with every other state. <clears throat> the only difference is their interface. So here is for Enugu State. Here it is, Enugu State Internal Revenue Service. So if you need any information, you need tax information. So basically, these are just the same across all the states is just a name change you also have that for kaduna here it is so kaduna said internal revenue service so just look for that which is um the state you are in or which your business is operating you go to their portal whatever you should know it has the caption internal revenue service for example um it might be um which other state is that um let's say gombe state you can say gombe state internal revenue service so yes for emo state here it is emo state internal revenue service if it's abia state you can just say abia state internal revenue service the informations are the same uh maybe just very 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 slight differences you know on some little little other taxes but the major informations are the same across board so this is, I'm going to take you to FIRS, which is the Federal Inland Revenue Service. So these state governments have taxes which they can collect, not all the tax collectible for which they collect. So the other tax which is not collected by the state government is collected by the federal government, which is the Federal Government Inland Revenue Service. So here is your portal. Every information you need is there filing, e-tax payments, stamp duty, e-receipt, your TCC, your TIN verification, your VAT certificate, all those informations and how to get them is there. So you just scroll through so you get all the necessary informations and you're good to go. So I hope that is informative enough. I'm also going to leave the link in the description box so that you can easily go and read on your own. So let's go back into the video. So once you register, you can also send a letter to them stating you want to register for this and the number of employees you have, the state of the business as at that time, your location and everything and you're good to go. So that is the first step in structuring your limited liability company. This is very, very important, you know, because these guys in funny when they come for you it's usually a battle so it's something which you just want to avoid and you don't want that hassle so yes 
in the next video i'm going to be talking about structuring your business internally in terms of creating departments and you know standard operating procedures and policies you know to make the business self sustainable basically you're grooming your staffs to do things which they're supposed to do even when you are not there so guys for now i'm going to end here until next time it's your girl please don't forget to subscribe i love you all have a nice time bye